Hello everyone, this is Khaled. And last week I had uh, a very big problem in my Xbox One X. Um, when I tried to turn it on, uh, it was not displaying anything at all. There was no video signal. I started to go through the troubleshooting guides and all that stuff, searching. And I discovered that the Xbox One X had something called a black screen of death. So I didn't, I was not aware of this issue before. And basically, uh, this is something uh, to do with the either the HDMI port. Sometimes it's the easy glitch that you can reset your console and you're good to go. So you need to hold the, um, the, the Xbox button, the, the, the bar button with the, uh, with the bear button. Like hold it until you uh, hear two uh, chimes, like the sounds of uh, this when you're turning it on. And then you can go uh, do a, a console start or something like that. Or you can do a, a normal system reset or something like this uh, but in my case this is didn't help and when i tried to search more about the issue i found that it might be the hdmi port something happened or the hard hard drive is uh, like had some issues and um, uh, this was frustrating because i don't, just like uh, kept it offline keeping it uh, for the potential exploit that coming um, soon this month and there's no there is no options now microsoft have removed the app and uh, the dashboard version is not clear that how, how i will be getting it back and that's why i released the video uh, if you can see it uh, on my channel uh, this video for the uh, how you can back up your xbox in, in case of something having to the hard drive uh, long story short uh, it was not the hard drive it was something called the retimer chip so the xbox as you can see uh, this video by uh, Taptic Digital. Uh, there is one chip here. Um, it needs to be replaced. Sometimes this have the issue, and this is uh, uh, like have micro soldering. So you need to remove the chip, put it back, put it, replace it with a new chip, and then uh, you need to test. You, you will be ready to go. So this this chip uh, getting faulty from time to time, and uh, might lead to the an over video signal. Uh, so I took the console and I found somebody to repair it. I paid the money and um, unfortunately uh, the console was on a system reset status. So meaning that uh, everything is gone. I need to update the dashboard because it was the previous dashboard. Now I need to update the dashboard. The way that the Xbox consoles work is that once you um, update, I mean, once you've done a console reset, uh, you need to go through the initial setup when connected to the internet and download the latest update. Uh, that, that's why there is no offline uh, update so now you cannot activate that the, the xbox otherwise otherwise you will not be able to activate it so i had to go through that otherwise the xbox will be useless now i, I don't know i lost the game script application uh, i'm now with this operating system i'm not sure that it's like exploitable even if it's ex exploitable uh, there's no way to get the uh, game script app so i started to do some searching and uh, i got uh, in hold of like some article uh, and basically, uh, this article was uh, by Nunzi. As you can see here, this is article uh, named Xbox Retail Mode App Guide Legacy. So basically, this method is allowing apps to be installed on Xbox Retail Mode uh, that would normally be on available on Dev Mode. Uh, but this thing uh, comes with a caveat and, 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 and a matter of the big, big caveat. Uh, so... Uh, First, you need to have a developer account, so you need to pay the twenty dollars for Microsoft to be to, to get this Dev Mode account, uh, and then you need to do some uh, work uh, in terms of uh, repackaging uh, the app and upload it back to um, uh, to the Xbox Store. Uh, so, I mean, the, the Xbox Marketplace, uh, Microsoft Marketplace, and uh, this might lead to uh, an account ban if Microsoft. Uh, discover that or like they have some terms of regulation so uh, in terms of service here it's like something uh, mentioned here that you need to be aware of this guide it was mentioned mainly for uh, people who are trying to get uh, retro arc working on a retail mode uh, but here the authors mentioned that like installing emulation apps on the retail mode against microsoft terms of service for example if you if uh, it's possible to install retro arc pvsp on xbox retail mode the consequences of creating terms of service if any are unknown so this is the big caveat about doing that so as 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 i said as i said I, I was out of options there is no way to get game script app and i have done a previous video 
uh, on how to get the installer to keep it for archiving purpose because if you have the installer of game uh, game game script app uh, we possibly we can install it on the dev mode but when i spoke to i mean when i commented or like when i tweeted to the developer of the exploit she mentioned uh, that uh, uh, it, it's not useful on the dev mode it needs to be in retail mode so i had uh, this account uh, i was microsoft developer account previously i paid them the 20 the 20 bucks and i went through the process of uh, the requirements here this like sign up so you need to sign up so you need to pay them the 20 dollar account and then when you create uh, you need to create an application on microsoft partner and then you go through the steps here so this is a step by step this is not done by me again this is by uh, a guy uh, or like someone called nanzi and basically there's sections to list this uh, in store so uh, in terms of pricing and availability uh, it's uh, you can create like a customer customer groups i mean meaning that it will be uh, privately uh, like privately shared or like privately linked it will not be available in the, in, in the marketplace itself so it goes through the all the process here so you can create a group you can make it like a private audience you tell, you assign it to the group and then you make it like a direct link only not in the uh, not uh, don't make it discoverable in, in, in Microsoft uh, store and then you uh, set up the pro properties you need to set some properties here for the review for the um, age rating all that stuff you go through the language uh, so it's like a step-by-step -step that you can do to uh, list uh, like a normal app application here. Uh, after that, it comes to uh, how we can uh, upload this package back. So this is the tricky part because to upload this package, it needs to be signed by the developer uh, with the developer uh, certificate or like you can say that the developer repackaged and signed in. So there's one application. If you can scroll down, this is because if you have the source code, but we don't have the source code. So there's one application here. If we click here, this application called app, uh, Apex Packer. So basically uh, you need to extract the game script app uh, by uh, WinRAR. So just like you got this application, you just like uh, open with WinRAR. You can get the, uh, the packages, as I mentioned from the previous video. You just open it with WinRAR. Don't right click on it because it will not open by right click. You need to open and open the file with WinRAR. Once you open the file with WinRAR, you will see a set of uh, uh, files that you need to get it uh, out or like extract it from that folder because uh, the, the extension itself, the, MX, uh, the MSX extension or that the application itself extension can be opened and extracted as like some sort of zip file. So you get this. And once you extract it, you put the extracted Apex content in the app bus and then you put the output folder where it will be containing the new package and then from your uh, Microsoft partner center you will have here the, the <coughs> sorry you will have here the, uh, the application name you have the package identity the package publisher and all that stuff so these need to be mentioned here on the terms and then you need to start to by clicking create apex so it will create the apex file and then you take this file and you can upload it in the in the packages section so once you finish that you go back back to the packages you need to con uh, go back to the packages upload this to the packages center and then you can see here this is the apex upload you can upload it there so it's taking the mx bundle mx apex or apex bundle or apex upload or whatever in apps and you upload it so this will satisfy all the uh, like the properties for the listing um, you need to take some screenshots and all that stuff and then there's uh, like something called submit for review so you need to have like a button you will find a big button uh, submit for uh, to the store itself so it go it will go through uh, some phases so um, after submission it will take uh, some time to uh, like pre-processing submission and like processing the pre-processing something the package and after it will be checking the certificate certifying the package itself and after certification uh, the package might be uh, on the store uh, so uh, after doing all that you should get an email from Microsoft saying that your congratulation your package is up and you can open back the uh, application website uh, and you can find under the product identity you'll find the link for your application so this is the the link that you have assigned because when you're assigning the group you need to enter the email addresses for the people so anybody with the, with the email address inside the group he can just like open this link with uh, Microsoft Edge and once he opened this link with Microsoft Edge he can uh, it will redirect him to the Microsoft Store and then he can get the package or you can host it by the website you can create like a some some dummy website but either way is just like take this link 
uh, hook up a keyboard, uh, connect a keyboard to the Xbox, and then just like open the link and then sign up. Um, and then you can install it. So actually, this message works. So somebody from the Discord, uh, somebody from Discord reported that this thing worked. I didn't uh, like proceed with it because it's 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 uh, it might be uh, some sort of uh, it's like halfway. I didn't. I said that no, it's like it, it's not like possible. But I found somebody who was willing to share this uh, process or like he's sharing the link itself. And uh, it, I have uh, successfully I, I downloaded the application. So uh, still until now, there is a possible way to get the application from Microsoft Store if it's repackaged and uh, published uh, again uh, under like a private group or something like that. I'm not encouraging to do this. I'm just like showing uh, this thing as uh, like an existing uh, way to get GameScript app until now. So Microsoft didn't push a new update. The availability is still on the on the latest kernel. Uh, they, they provided the OS. It's still um, like having this fail because last time uh, the author Emma said mentioned that like if you run this uh, script on the Xbox and the, app, the Xbox after like 30 to 1 minute crashed or like make a hard reset, meaning that the the exploit uh, that, that the still the kernel exploit is not patched. So the main thing here, one thing, and as I mentioned, there's a big caveat here. Uh, there's a potential uh, suspension of the developer account. So what happened is I get a message from uh, this guy who provided the package or like provided the, the link for that package and he mentioned to me that Microsoft has suspended his account. So meaning that uh, they were aware of this thing or like this is this is something that Microsoft is aware and uh, they, they, they suspended the account because this violation of the terms of service uh, and they sent him email. He tried to like uh, submit like uh, some 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 sort of uh, appeal, but the the, the 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 decision was final, and it was uh, already cancelled. So he lost his developer account. Uh, it's it's not it's not um, it's not clear if it will be affecting the Xbox Live account that have downloaded the packages or not. Uh, I'm not taking any risk to connect my Xbox. Uh, my Xbox to the online web now uh, after I got the, the package working again under uh, after the, the removal of the app because in, by any chance if I will update uh, like turn on the the, the the Xbox it will be just like take this license or uninstall this package and all would gone so um, I'm like I'm not planning to open uh, or like connect to the internet but yeah there is uh, like yeah there is a little hope or like there is still a way to get this package but again, this is coming with a caveat. So I want to just like to share this news with you guys uh, about that. And um, yeah, uh, this was a quick video uh, on how you can still get GameScript app through Microsoft Store on the retail mode uh, online, but with a proper pan for the dev mode account. So I hope you liked my video. If you like, please uh, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend uh, and see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.